Hello, Fishian. How are you doing? Uh, we serve a God that is faithful and just. God has been faithful to his word. We are alive and well. Let's be grateful. I hope you had a great week. Yes, let's be joyful. You know, the Bible said the joy of the Lord is our strength. Be thankful. You know, that's my favorite. Um, I tell you guys always my favorite story about the 10 lepers that Jesus cleansed. You know, only one returned to give him thanks. And Jesus said, well, there are no 10 that were cleansed. How come? It's only this uh, one that has returned to give me thanks. And for returning to give thanks, he was made whole. So be thankful. I remember, like I always tell you guys, if you're thankful, your thank will be full. Some people see the cup as half empty, others see it as half full. Yeah, a grateful person always sees things, the bright side of things. So please forget about um, the situation. And for those of you, I hope you guys are safe, especially those of you guys are watching me from the affected, flooded area, areas in Nigeria. I pray for your safety, that God protect you and guide you in Jesus' name. Amen. And congratulations to all those of you that resume school uh, as well as call of strike. Yes, please do not be discouraged and know they are going to overload you with so much work at school. But please have this assurance that God is going to guide you. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So commit your ways unto the Lord and he will guide. So work hard, study hard, and I guarantee you that with God, all things are possible. You're going to come out victorious. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but be rest assured that you will come out victorious in the name of Jesus. So please do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Stay strong. The Lord is your strength. Yeah, and make sure you do all those assignments that your lecturers are going to give you. Then if you do well in the assignments, the tests, then once it comes to exams, you know, you, you will see yourself passing. But if they, you neglect those assignments and those uh, tests that you're going to receive, then that's when you're going to struggle because it's not easy to score uh, 100 over 100 in the exams. But if you do well in your tests, I don't know your grade, how they grade your tests in your school, but let, let's assume that uh, your tests and assignments are over 40, then the exam 60. So let's assume that you score uh, above 30 in your tests and assignments, you know then you, you, you're, you're halfway done. You know, if it's over 30, your tests and assignments, let's say you, 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 you score 25 in those ones, then the, your exams, if you, let's say it's now over 70, and you did like 50, over 70 plus 25, that's you see yourself uh, scoring a, a B or an A in the overall, then you're good to go, you know what I mean? And uh, if you do like that, uh, you're on the way on, on getting an A in your exams. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Um, if this is your first time joining us, please, you're welcome. God bless you real good in the name of Jesus. We're Fusion and we're located in the city of Lagos. Perchance you find yourself in the city of Lagos, please do join us. Uh, we just finished our series, Live Revealed. And I hope you followed that wonderful teaching. The series was so impactful. Yeah, we started from the book of Luke and went to the book of Acts of the Apostle. Yeah, my earnest prayer is that God will open your eyes of understanding, that you understand way deeper things than the ones who taught you. Yeah, God bless you in Jesus' name. We're going into a new series that I want you guys to pay very close attention. Our new series is Personal Character. Praise the name of the Lord. And before we go into our new series, I want you guys to Forget about whatsoever your worries are. Let's enjoy our praise and worship from the best choir in the world. Yeah, the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, they say rejoice. In the praise of God, there's fullness of joy at His right hand of pleasures forevermore. So please, let's enjoy the praise of God together. God bless you real good. Choir, over to you. of glory fill this place I just want to be with you I just want to be with you come on sing how does it say Yeah. 
Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you, choir, for that amazing ministration. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Like I said, we have a new series that we're going to start today. Personal character. And today's topic that we're going to go is, why did God create humans? Have you ever wondered, why did God create humans? Why did God create you and I? Yeah, and we're going to dive into it um, and, and, and study very well. Before we go into today's uh, topic, why did God create humans? I just want to def define what um, uh, uh, having a strong character means making decisions based on the set core value. Yeah, here are some of the examples of positive character that I want you guys, character trait that I want us to imbibe. Discipline, yeah, discipline. Visionary, you need to be a visionary person. You need to be creative, yeah. God bless you. And you need to have compassion, praise the name of the Lord. And you need to be courageous. You also need to be patient. Yeah, you need to be honest. I need to have integrity. I need to be loyal, praise God. And you need to have conscience. You need to be persistent. Praise God. And you need to be resilient. And that's what I was telling you guys earlier. That those of you that just resume school after a long stay at home. Yeah, you need to develop a, a resilient character. And you need to be persistent in your study. And you need to be disciplined. Praise God. It's not going to be easy, but God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So why did God create humans? Let's quickly go into our Bible. Yeah, I'm going to read from Genesis the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 28. Uh, chapter 1, verse 26, 28. Praise God. And it said, um, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Praise God. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Praise God. So we're going to read, read another scripture. So pay attention. We're still going to read Matthew chapter 7, verse 17 to 20. Yeah, Matthew chapter 7, verse 17 to 20. And what the word God, of God said, Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. Mm, I love that. Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit. Hmm, praise God. And a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you shall recognize them. Praise the name of the Lord. By their fruit, you shall recognize them. I love that scripture so well. At school, where you find yourself at home, yeah, by your fruit, people will know you. By, by your character, by your attitude, yeah, by the way you relate, how um, respectful are you to your teacher, how disciplined are you, how uh, consistent are you, you know, like I said earlier, how creative are you, how compassionate are you, how honest are you, how humble are you, how loyal are you, praise the name of the Lord, how persistent, resilient, yeah, by your fruit, that's what we're going to know, that's what people will know. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember one part of the scripture that said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So, I'll ask you guys one question. What influences have made you the person you are today? What influences have made you the person you are today? <clears throat> is it your family? Your friends? Is it your teachers? Or your coaches? Or is it the Bible? Is it God? Or is it social media? Or is it something else? What influences today in today's world of social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat? You know, people tend to look at those big celebrities and we want to copy them, we want to be like them. But we've, we've, we've seen um, 
several examples that show that the life of social media is quite different from reality. You know, uh, uh, some people post only their good side of life and um, people uh, innocently, young people innocently, yeah, want to be like them. They want to achieve what those people are seemingly are achieving. Yeah, they want to earn the kind of lifestyle those people are, 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 are living. You know, they want to live that influential life, that life of affluence, that life of showing wealth, you know. So what are those things, you know, that have made you the person you are today? And, and like we read in the Bible, God created humans to know him and to worship him. That is our sole responsibility here, to know God and to worship him. We do this by reflecting his image, the world around us. You know, God created us in his image and likeness. Praise God, we are here to reflect his image that the world may see. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, who do you feel most comfortable with and why? That's another question I love you guys to answer, to ponder on. Yeah. Who do you feel most comfortable with and why do you feel so comfortable around this person? Praise the name of the Lord. At home, at school, uh, 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 you comfort. There are people that you could share um, your burdens, your worries with. You don't care with reckless abundance. There are people that you don't even tell them any of your secret. There are people that you don't just, you're not just comfortable around them. Yeah, so think about it. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. Often we are afraid that if people knew our faults and failures, they will not want to be, to be with us. Yeah, that's what some people are so afraid uh, that um, we know our weakness. So we don't want to um, show that side of our weakness. We tend to hide, you know. But at the end of the day, we're all humans. Praise the name of the Lord. We're all humans, yeah, full of um, uh, uh, faults, full of we're not perfect yet, yeah, yeah. That's why um, uh, the life of social media that tend to show the life of perfection, the life of I uh, see people are just faultless. Uh, people don't um, they want to show you their mansions, even even people that are struggling for a living, they want to show you that part of their life that okay, uh, I've arrived, you know. And uh, that is a little bit confusing, but God's going to help us in the name of Jesus. Often we're afraid, but as believers, the Bible says we should share our faults one to another. Yeah. How do you respond to those around you when they mess up? You know, people around us, when somebody, you, you have a believer, a Christian around you that messes up and come around you. And, and you know, those days growing up, um, when I was a young Christian, still learning, yeah, I remember a young uh, a friend walked to me and was confessing his weakness to me uh, out of my ignorance. I started judging him. I said, oh, how will you do that? Don't you know you're a child of God? Yeah, when well, I'm more mature than I'm grown, yeah, I, I was meant to judge him. I was supposed to encourage him and tell him that um, as Christians, we fall down, but we get back up again. Praise the name of the Lord. And... I was supposed to show more compassion to him and to encourage him to stand strong. So uh, I'd like to encourage us that um, God created us to show compassion. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why God created us, to show compassion. God created us to have relationship with one another, to have relationship, good relationship, brothers and sister kind of relationship, relationship that will uh, bring out the best in people, relationship that will help people to grow and to become better and better people. Yeah, God created us for a relationship. That's one of the reasons why God created us. Praise the name of the Lord. So that in reflecting God's image, you know, uh, you, sometimes like people will say, um, every situation you find yourself, you ask yourself, uh, what would Jesus do in this kind of situation? If um, someone's come to, um, came to Jesus and, and, and uh, confessed their fault, their weakness to Jesus, you, you ask yourself, what would Jesus do in that kind of situation? Will he chase them away? Will he make them feel uh, uh, guilty? Will he make them feel worthless, like uh, many of us believers do today? Or will he encourage them and make them feel loved and make them feel cared? Praise the name of the Lord. Never you forget that they were created uh, to reflect the image of God. And uh, God is loving. God is kind. Praise God. <clears throat> yeah. What does it mean? To you that you are made in God's image 
and you reflect his character. Praise God. What does it mean to you that you are made in the image of God and that you, listening to me, you reflect his character? Praise the name of the Lord. Remember, we're dealing today with why did God create humans? Praise the name of the Lord. And our next question I want us to ponder upon is why does it mean, uh, what does it mean to you that you are made in the image of God? And you reflect his character. Praise God. What does it mean to you that you are made in the image of God and you reflect God's character? Does that make you feel special? For one, say, the creator of the universe made us in his image. Does that make you feel... Um, so when the devil tries to come and lie to you, make you feel worthless and make you feel that um, you're not worthy, you're not worth it, you tell yourself, I'm made in the image of God. Do you know how special you are? For you to be made in the image of the creator of the universe, that is something that we need to cherish and we need to walk with us ahead up high. Yeah, never allow uh, guilt, never allow a um, situation around you made you feel less of who you are because you are special. God took time to create you and make you in his image so that you reflect his glory. Praise the name of the Lord. People around you, your parents, everybody needs to feel uh, the love of God in their life. And uh, may God help us all to grow in the love of God. In Jesus' name, amen. So thank you guys for listening. My earnest prayer for you is that God will open your eyes of understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. So that you will know once you have this understanding of why God creates you, to have fellowship with Him, then you walk with your shoulder up high. Do not allow situation put you down. Do not allow what people say about you pull you down. Do not allow your economic circumstance pull you down. Do not allow the color of your skin pull you down. Do not allow what men tell you to pull you down. Stay strong, stay loving. Do not be compassionate. Be kind one to another and God will help us in Jesus' name. So Heavenly Father, thank you for making us in your image and your likeness. Thank you, Lord, because this lesson is going to transform us. It's going to transform our personal character that the world may see your wonderful work in us and glorify you in heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because it is well with everyone listening to me. Thank you, Father. Is there anyone sick, Father? I pray for total healing. Is there anyone struggling, especially those of them that just resume school, university, Father? Is there anyone struggling academically, Father? I pray for excellence. I pray for knowledge. I pray for understanding in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you always answer our prayers and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. Until I come your way again next week, stay blessed. Remember, you are made in the image and likeness of God and develop solid character in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Peace. Before we go, let's say our every Sunday confession. It shouldn't be every Sunday confession. It should be our daily confession. Every day you wake up, you tell yourself, I am blessed. Praise God. I am prosperous. I am talented. I am creative. I am forgiven. I am redeemed. I am free. Say, I am valuable. I am anointed. Amen. I am equipped. God has equipped us. Amen. I am beautiful. Say that to yourself. I am beautiful. Amen. You are beautiful in Jesus' name. Say, I am attractive. Made you attractive in Jesus' name. I am amazing. I love this one. I am amazing. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Child of God, say it like you mean it. I am a child of the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. I have seeds of greatness. I have seeds of greatness on the inside of me. I'll become all he has created me to be. I will become all God has created me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. I am victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a victorious week, my friends, in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep you. God make his face shine over you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. You will excel in this life in the name of Jesus. You shall be called blessed. Blessed are you in your going out. Blessed are you in your coming in in the name of Jesus. You will know the truth and the Bible says if you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. You are free indeed in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashion form against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. The hand of God rests upon you. Uh, you shall flourish like cedar in Lebanon in 
the name of Jesus. Your life will not be cut short. You will live to fulfill your days and your assignment in this life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers. I pray all this over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone say, Amen. God bless you, real girl. Thank you.